Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I got all my candles together. They're all in one place. They've been in like 10 different places in my house and I got them all together. So I wanted to show you, this is my collection and I'm gonna tell you or show you what I have. Starting with this shelf right here. Oh, there's 15 on each shelf. Pumpkin pecan waffles, praline pecan cobbler, sweet cherry pie, toasted graham latte, coconut leaves, golden cinnamon, Cinnamon Rum Raisin, White Mint Latte, Coconut Colada, Pistachio Ice Cream, Mahogany Coconut, Iced Vanilla Woods, that's Smoked Vanilla, that's Pink Petal Tea Cake, and Vanilla Bourbon Peach. The little ones are Vanilla Balsam, Cranberry Pear Bellini, Tea and Lemon, Cinnamon Frosting, and White Cedar. On this shelf, we have Cotton Candy Marshmallow, Harvest Pear, Lavender Macaron, Snow Mountain Lodge, and Chestnut and Cherries, something like that. Um, oh gosh, that looks like it's about flavor. This is the uh, eggnog. I dare say not, I blame the eggnog. Sweater Weather, Cinnamon Pretzel Twist, Merry Cookie, and Maple Cinnamon Pancakes. Down there is that candle that they made. It, they made them take the label off of it. The Nook candle. That is this one's Woodland Forest. Pomegranate lemonade. Pumpkin coconut. And black cherry merlot. The little ones are cinnamon frosting, cinnamon frosting, cinnamon frosting, juniper berry and pine, radiant red maple. Moving right along, we've got two lavender marshmallows, a pineapple cream puff, stress relief, which is eucalyptus spearmint, and a slack and co cinnamon and clove. Spice, cinnamon spiced vanilla, tea and lemon, honey cinnamon crumb cake, and two raspberry peach macarons. Creamy nut bag, another slack and co, which is frosted cranberry, a vanilla spiced pear, cinnamon cupcake, which is the same thing as cinnamon frosting, and campfire donut. And the little ones are cranberry woods, cinnamon frosting, banana nutmeg bread pudding, berry pumpkin strudel, and another cinnamon frosting. My Bath and Body Works had the little ones on sale, like two, um, Sales ago, semi-annual sales, they were like 50 cents a piece. piece. They were really cheap. So I bought all, and they had a bunch of the cinnamon frostings, and so I bought all of them, because <laughs> I like that scent. I've got two Butterum Eggnogs, Peach Bellini, Yuletide, and Gooey Marshmallow, Mint Chocolate, Pumpkin Donut Shop, Cherry Snow Cone, Gelato, and cannoli and chocolate. Merry mistletoe, vanilla balsam, dear Santa, I blame the eggnog, sugared snickerdoodle and banana split milkshake. On this shelf is lavender cacao. Is that how you say that? I'm not sure. I've got three of the little or the medium sized cider lanes and a French baguette. Then caramel apple, orange chocolate truffle, spiced gingerbread, frosted cake pop, and popcorn and pine, blueberry maple pancakes, pumpkin peanut brittle, cherry frost, sweet cherry pie, another one of those, and marshmallow pumpkin latte. Then down on the bottom here are my most recent ones, Merry Mimosa, key lime pie, banana bunt cake, Hot Fudge Sunday and Garden Greenery. And that is it for my candle collection. It is, I'm out of breath. Okay, it is not as much as I thought it was gonna be actually. I thought I had more. I have 80, 15, because there's 15 on each shelf 15, 30, 45, 60. 
75, 80. So 80 of the three wicks and 14 of the four ounce tester candles and one little mini candle. So now the question is that I see all my collection in one place. Do I burn these or do I save them? A lot, I would say half of them, at least half of them have been burned. I've already burned them, so I'm not going to sell them or anything, and I probably wouldn't sell them anyway. I'd thought about it, but I don't feel like going through all the hassle. So do I burn them or save them? I don't know why it's so hard for me to to get through something. I, part of me just really wants to get through the candles. Like, see how many of these I can actually burn through and be done with. But part of me likes seeing what I've collected over the years that I've been kind of into the candle burning. So I'm not really sure, what would you do? Would you burn them or keep them? One more last look. I'd like to know your thoughts. Burn them or keep them. All right, y'all, thanks so much for watching. And um, I have uh, some other candles, but not anywhere. This is my, I don't have anywhere near this many. They're just random ones from like either small vendors or other like candle companies. Some of them I don't like, so I just kind of push those aside. Bath and Body Works, to me, is the most, um, I get this, I get the strongest throw with Bath and Body Works and they're most easily um, available. I live like two miles from Bath and Body Works and also I live about 30 minutes from a test store or a store that gets a lot of the quote unquote test candles in. And so that's why I do have some of these ones that are, you know, were test candles at some point. And my aunt also lives like right next door to a, a test store too. So I, I don't know, I'm kind of, like part of me wants to keep them and then part of me wants to just get rid of them. I don't know. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye.